In this tutorial, metaphors from Harry Potter will be used to portray the three modes of evolutionary selection. Directional, stabilizing, and disruptive. This biology is boring. I'm going to check the mail. Dear prospective student, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry because you possess magical talent. Each year, Hogwarts specifically selects students who express magical talent and ability. In your years here, you will hone your magical skills and put them to use alongside your peers. Your success will depend on the skills you naturally possess and the effort you put into your training. On September 1st, you will board the Hogwarts Express with other young witches and wizards, migrating from the Muggle world to the Wizarding world. Yours sincerely, Minerva McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress. Directional selection is the mode in which a single phenotype is favoured over another phenotype at the opposite end of the phenotypic range. This mode of selection most often occurs under environmental change, or, as seen in this example, when populations migrate to new areas. The individuals with the advantageous phenotypes have superior fitness in the new environment and will continue to reproduce mostly with similar individuals over many generations. Among the students you see rushing into Hogwarts here, there is a broad range of magical talent, where some students have more talent than others. Those with the most magical talent have the more advantageous phenotype, which increases their fitness and makes them more likely to reproduce with other wizards of the same magical ability. This shifts the average of the population to consist of more talented wizards. Over many generations, as their offspring continue to reproduce, the more talented magical population will grow, creating an overall shift from the original. Hmm, very interesting. I see you possess the traits of loyalty, bravery, and honor. That makes you an ideal Gryffindor, you know? Of course, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw are excellent houses as well, but their phenotypic characteristics are on the opposite ends of the spectrum from yours. Gryffindor it is! Stabilizing selection is a mode of natural selection that selects against extreme phenotypes, and in the process promotes intermediate phenotypes. In the case of Harry Potter, if the Gryffindor house selects for the intermediate traits in between the two other houses, the wizards whose characteristics are too dissimilar to the Gryffindor traits will not be selected. Hufflepuffs and Ravenclaws are known for being extremely hardworking, and Slytherins are often very lazy. Gryffindors fall in between these two extremes. They work hard enough to succeed in school, but do not sacrifice their social lives. This is advantageous to Gryffindors because it allows them to have a better quality of life. They will reproduce with other Gryffindors who share the same characteristics, and over many generations, more Gryffindors will be produced, resulting in a population that primarily consists of these intermediate traits. For example, take a look at these new Gryffindors. I'm just a lonely Gryffindor right now. Oh, look at those guys in the blue. I wonder if they'll be my new best friends in Gryffindor. Rito, come here, buddy. Gryffindor! Yeah, Gryffindor for life! Hey, dude. Hey, hey, calm down. Dude, isn't it awesome that like our parents were in Gryffindor and our grandparents, and now we're in it? What's up? Rock on! Hell yeah. Gryffindor! Disruptive selection is the mode in which extreme phenotypes are favored over intermediate phenotypes within a population. Natural selection selects only for the extreme traits over the course of many generations, and the individuals exhibiting the intermediate traits will not survive and reproduce. In this case, the phenotype of indecisiveness is selected against because it is advantageous to be either good or evil in order to survive in the magical world. The good wizards are more likely to reproduce with other good wizards, and the evil wizards are more likely to reproduce with other evil wizards. However, when two individuals with opposite extreme traits do reproduce with each other, their offspring with intermediate traits will have lower fitness and will not continue to reproduce more offspring with intermediate traits, thus accentuating the extreme phenotypes. The three modes of natural selection, directional, stabilizing, and disruptive, are a constant factor in all evolutionary processes. 
Believe it or not, over the course of many generations, these three modes determine the diversity of traits within a population, not only within the world of Harry Potter, but also in real life.